Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is Free here today. We will be taking a look at some brand new news on the Japanese version of the game right now, but it should be coming to global as well, courtesy of some data mines. So we're going to take a look at it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe if you have any new for more content. And let me know, when you guys listen to this video, what do you guys think will happen? All right, let me know at the end, because maybe I'll say something that maybe changes your opinion or whatever the case is. But all right, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start off by reading this post. We're going to jump into a few different avenues. I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a journey. So to begin, happy New Year's. Last year, thank you for your patronage of the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Management company, we would like to thank. So the management company likes would like to thank you guys for your support of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, 2018, large interlocking campaign of the whole world. 250 million downloads achieved, and the movie Dragon Ball Super Bathly, Broly, <laughs> as the beginning of the campaign of the three years, such as the implementation of a variety of new features, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle is a new growth, now one year that has been accomplished. So they're saying, thank you so much for the year. We had huge celebrations, including the Dragon Ball Super Broly celebration. Also, we implemented a ton of new features, and we had a successful year. So 2019, to the users, we can strive in addition, including the ultra-luxurious login bonus as New Year's beginning. Everyone, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle with heartfelt sincerity to be able to show you the beginning. 1-1 one, one will be held a special gacha and deals to celebrate uh, the New Year in fire. In the fire. <laughs> addition in the january one after another will be held such as a new story event and extreme z battles here so they're saying um in 2019 they strive to be successful with the game uh and they're going to start off by having ultra luxurious login bonuses so very good login bonus apparently for the new years alongside uh well beginning one one which is today actually in japan uh alongside a special gasha so a summon and deals slash sales right to celebrate the new years also there's going to be a new story events and extreme z battles coming as well so they're saying please expect to be together <laughs> uh we will carry out the shop maintenance before the sale the start of the fire uh please note so they're gonna have shop maintenance which is different they don't typically they don't typically do isolated maintenance like that that's more of a legends thing but i mean that's cool so anyways I Like I said, it's Google Translate, but I was able to pretty much decipher the code for you guys. So the big thing in there is that there is new content coming. Again, there's a new login bonus. That should be very good. Um, I'm going to say it's probably going to have a first login bonus of a nice amount of stones. I'm looking for 30 to 50, I think, for the first login. I think that's a good amount for a New Year's celebration, things like that. Now, I wasn't able to dig up previous celebrations, but don't get your hopes up, right? I'm just saying that's possible. Otherwise, it's just going to be, you know, 50 over like two weeks or whatever, right? So anyways, moving on. So we have that new EZA, new banner, uh, new story events. We do not know what any of that stuff is. That is the purpose of this video. So let's go ahead and take out some posts from a couple of data miners. So uh, there was a thank you message on the Japanese version. The devs thank us for this year, uh, rich in hype, notably um, three years and 250 million. So yeah, they were saying like this was a great year for them pretty much. They had great celebrations such as the Broly movie, the third year anniversary, the 250 million downloads and all that stuff. Um, the news stipulates that soon promos a portal a story event and a Z battle will arrive to celebrate the new year. Also, Team Dokkan are here. Um, he says the biggest portal in the history of Dokkan, according to him. So he's saying the biggest banner, the best banner, whatever the case is, according to him, in his opinion, should appear by tomorrow with the new year's celebration. Simultaneous on Global and JP, it will be completely new. Um, and I don't get this last part. <laughs> so... There's no announcement on Global right now, but I do expect Global to do something, right? I don't know if they're going to take this opportunity to start teasing the Broly movie units. I don't know. I do not believe that Broly movie units will drop on Global as part of the New Year celebration. I still think that there's a little bit more time for Global to drop that dual Dokkan Fest and stuff like that. Unless Global kind of holds on to that and drops some whatever new units, whatever the case is, uh, that JP will be dropping as well remain to be seen. But one thing I can point out is, you know, this always happens, so be aware of this. Global gets their news later on in the day due to the time that they reset the login and stuff like that. So JP gets theirs literally early in the morning at 7 a.m. PST. Oh, not, well, not necessarily, but that's about New Year. Uh, that's about, um, not, 7 a.m. is the, is, is 12 p.m. midnight where the day shifts pretty much. So they get theirs at like, you know, 11 uh, a.m. or so PST, but still. So, Global should get their news long story short later. So, 
Stay tuned for that. We don't have anything about that. There should be an in-game announcement of sorts. They're going to do something. They're going to capitalize on this. Literally, for context, every Gacha game I play, and you guys know I play a lot of them, it's pretty much doing a New Year's celebration, and they also have New Year's sales. So trust me, Global's doing something. So anyways, one of the things I want to talk about is this art here. You guys may remember it. You may recognize it, at least for Gogeta, as far as he's concerned. There is this Gogeta art from the V-Jump that appears to be the exact same. Now, people were trying to say, and I don't see it, but I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge it, that this art right here, which is this same art here, is not just isolated to being in the super attack frames for the units. For context, let me go ahead and show you this. This is courtesy of Hydros. So here's the uh, image from the game. Here's Broly's super attack animation. That is the same art. <laughs> so there we go. That's a super attack frame for Broly. And that's one of the things he does in the middle of his super attack. And then Gogeta as well. You guys know he does do the Stardust Breaker or whatever you want to call it there. So anyways, this is a frame there. People were saying there's a little bit of a difference. Not the same. Whatever. I don't see it, but I'll acknowledge it. So since that's the case, since this is a frame from the super attack, and I can't think of any instance where we've gotten a frame from a super attack as a new unit, I, I don't know if these would be new units, right? I just don't think they would be new units. And I can also show you guys something that's a little bit different as far as Global's concerned. Because uh, Global's kind of teasing using frames for new units as well, too, in a way. Uh, and it's going to be like right somewhere around here. I didn't actually have this pulled up. Uh, new Dokken event. That's not it. It's going to be the celebration missions or whatever. Nah, that's not it. Uh, missions, missions, missions. Extreme Z Battle, 24th Tournament, Extreme Z Battle. There we go. It should be it. That's not it. That's not it either. <laughs> well, long story short, if I don't find it, they had a, a banner that had the Super Attack frames for Goku and Vegeta, uh, UI and SSBE. And people were confused about that, thinking those were new units and stuff like that. And they're not. But, I mean, in the future, we could get isolated units with that art. We don't know. But, again, I don't think that there's any instance where they've used that type of scenario for a brand new card. So, I, I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to dig for it. So, there we go. Right? So, just wanted to point that out. That's probably not a new card. Right? This, of course, was here to tease the Gogeta and Broly units we already have. Not sure why they didn't just use the regular Gogeta art. That's the weirdest thing to me. It seems like they really messed up on this. And there was an error, in fact, reported for this. But, nonetheless... That is a frame from the Super Attack. I want to point that out for anybody that's thinking that's a brand new card. But there are a couple more Gogetas in the game, courtesy of Hydros. There is this base form Gogeta, who I believe is from the story. Um, there's there's other frames like Super Saiyan Gogetas and stuff from the story. But nonetheless, there should be a Part 3 celebration coming for Story 2. So here's also this Gogeta. This is the one that's in the V-Jump as well that people were saying has LR shading or whatever in this image right here, the tech Gogeta, that we don't know what that is yet, right? It's I, I don't think it looks like it's LR shaded or anything like that just because he has shading. I don't think that. Uh, and, you know, seeing it in high quality, it could just be a, a story boss or whatever it is for part three, but it's already in the game, just not used for anything really from what I can tell. Correct me if I'm mistaken though. So that could be a card that we get as well. So one thing I do want to say is... When it comes down to this, we don't know exactly what they're going to do because they, they can pull bait and switches. And what I mean by that is you guys remember this guy, right? Of course, you can acquire him now. But remember the whole thing about him was he initially came out on that Broly EZA a couple of months back on both versions of the game. He Dokkan Awakened into this card and all that stuff. But they pulled a bait and switch here because this is actually a brand new unit. As you see, he's an AGL type. He is not the Awakening for this man. He's a brand new card. In fact, this card actually got a whole other Broly as his literal awakening, right? So the AGL one is an entirely different card, whereas before, you know, we thought that he was going to be the same thing. So this card, Dokkan Awakens, into this. So they can pull a bait and switch. We don't know what they're going to do, but they can do weird things like that and just switch stuff up. It's the reason why I wanted to bring that up, because they literally just did it with Broly-related stuff. So what I will say, and this is going to probably piss a lot of people off, right? I think that this most relates to this. <laughs> So, if they drop, let me go ahead and explain this. If they drop these units on a banner, like Gogeta and Broly again, like on one banner, it would be, I think, the first time in a very long time, aside from when they did that same thing here with SS4 Goku coming out on his game, on both versions actually, then the Tanabata slash Thank You banner dropping with the unit again, immediately thereafter, right? So I think that they're going to have an Amalgam banner that features a ton, hear me, a ton of units that is probably not going to be that great to pull on due to the fact that there is going to be a ton of 
units. That's what I think. Uh, you know what? Another good example would be the ticket manners that we get when you spend, like, you know, the, the ones that you get. Whenever it's like, oh, you spent so many stones, here's the number of tickets you get equating to the stones. And there's so many units in there that if you want to get an isolated unit, it's just not a good banner right but it's good for just general ssrs and this is kind of the same thing so many featured units this is the most recent iteration of a banner like this and i'm sorry right but i think it's going to be something like this not saying it's going to have the same rates but i do think the banner will be flooded with stuff and it'll probably honestly include gogeta and broly again now some people are saying that they do think that they'll drop a lr gogeta and broly or whatever the case is that is also a possibility but i want to make sure that we temper expectations we get we get overhyped a lot, right? So just be aware that nothing is confirmed until it's confirmed. We don't know exactly what's going to drop. It could be fire. It could be just average, you know, to be honest. Um, so there's that. But some people are thinking that. Keep in mind as well that Global's, well, JP specifically, Global kind of too, but JP specifically has been in a drought. They dropped like one LR in the last three months. Not sure why that was when as prior they were dropping them on a monthly basis as far as summonable LRs are concerned. Um, and then also they had weird Dokkan fests leading up to this. They had like Super Boo, uh, Metacooler, and stuff like that. Well, while some people like those Dokkan fests, Goku Black as well, none of those really, just villains in general, they don't, they don't really hold it over for the game. So it's just kind of weird, you know, the way that they were treating things. So I can really see a hype banner dropping soon. But then you remember that four-year celebration should be coming up in a couple of weeks. So... I don't really know. Like some people will say they won't capitalize on the hype right now, but I will say that the hype will still be going in two weeks. People will still be hyping about Gogeta and Broly in two weeks, especially because it'll have renewed hype because the the you know the worldwide release will have happened by then. So we'll see. But maybe they do take this opportunity as well in the next couple of weeks prior to the movie dropping to drop hit on JP. Hit's definitely gonna come over here. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe if you happen to be new for more content. Last thing I do want to mention is that there really haven't been New Year's banners or anything crazy like that celebratory wise uh, over the years either. At least for the last couple of years I backdated. So there wasn't anything crazy to really go back to between both versions of the game. So be aware of that. A lot of times we only end on like a Christmas banner and then nothing really crazy, crazy happens. But this, this, this was a good banner at the time. You know, stuff like that. But thank you guys. I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.